Good morning, everybody. I look crazy right now, but I just got back from a week vacation. We went to Pigeon. I went to Pigeon Forge with my family um, for my little brother's baseball tournament, and then literally we got back on Sunday night. And then Monday, which was yesterday, I went to Rehoboth Beach with my friend Alex. And you know, today is really my first day of being like home in like over a week and before we left I was literally working like all day every day so today is going to be kind of me getting my life together because I have been neglecting a lot of aspects of my life so I need to fix that today and maybe tomorrow so it's currently like hello 9 40 a.m I just got out of bed <laughs> because I had a headache yesterday I think I was out in the sun too long I got a lot of color yesterday like I don't know if you could tell for real. Okay, you really can't tell, but like I got a lot of sun. Like this summer I've been working so much that I literally like anytime I have the opportunity to tan, I'm either at work, going to work, like whatever the sun's out, I'm like hot. So I really haven't had the chance to tan this summer. So I'm gonna pee and then we're gonna go upstairs and make some coffee. Sitting with Stormy on the couch, I need to do a couple things. The first thing I'm gonna do is put on a YouTube video because you guys know I love drinking my coffee and watching YouTube. And I really should like fix my hair because it's kind of embarrassing that I'm on the internet like that, but mm, oh well. So I'm gonna turn on a vlog. And then I actually need to order a new tripod because I left my tripod that I use all the time in my Nana and Papa's car and they went back to Tennessee to their house. So I need to order a new tripod just so I have one until I see them next time. Cause I'm not really sure when's the next time I'm gonna be able to see them. So I'm just gonna turn on a YouTube video first. Cause also like when we were in Tennessee, like we were in a cabin in Pigeon Forge. So like we really didn't have that great of service or like Wi-Fi. I need to fix that one. We didn't really have a lot of good service or Wi-Fi, so I couldn't really watch any YouTube videos or anything like that. So I'm about to add a little more in video. Getting my life together, run errands with me. That's the kind of video I need to see. So I'm going to turn that on. And then order my thing on Amazon. Hey guys, so I am now downstairs. I just reheated up my coffee. I have a little bit of it left, but it got cold. Um, I'm downstairs now. I think, did I just say that? I don't even know. Basically, I'm gonna just like get ready because I'm vlogging today and I just stopped looking like I don't love myself on camera. Cause like, what's, what's that? What's that? I come on camera like looking really like busted and I'm like, what if this video gets a million views and a million people see me looking like this? So that's just, yeah, we're just gonna have to fix that. Um, it's currently 11.12. I was literally sitting watching YouTube videos for like an hour. Um, so yeah, I brought my iPad down here too. Today, I literally don't have any plans today other than me and my friend Megan are getting lunch at like 1.30. Um, so yeah, I need to actually go to the mall too and return some things. I don't know if I wanna do that today cause like I don't know if I feel like driving. I'm also gonna clean my room because obviously since the last video I filmed, I've been on two trips. And it looks a disaster again. So, okay guys, so, getting ready right now. But, I just wanted to do, like, a little get ready with me. Haha, <laughs> like, yeah, so whatever. I have y'all set up on two boxes of, boxes, 
two boxes of cat litter right now because <laughs> literally like my room the way it's set up is just so hard to film and the mirror's right over there so I'm looking over there a lot so yeah we're gonna do a little get ready with me um yeah yesterday I had my hair in these two braids and like a little bun and then I had a hat on and yeah literally my hair is so dry because I just don't take care of it like I should so that's fun but I wanted to update you guys on a couple of things that oh my gosh this water's freezing that have been happening um first of all i i told you guys my last video but i actually am transferring to umd next semester university of maryland college park and i'm really excited i have wanted to go to that school for forever i also got into nyu which if you guys watch my vlogs you guys know i've felt like nyu is like my dream school unfortunately it's like eighty thousand dollars a semester so there's like literally no way that i could go there without putting myself in serious debt um, and I just personally don't want to put myself in that much debt. Like, I'm already going to be going into debt to go to any college, honestly. Because, like, who has tens of thousands of dollars just, like, saved up for school? I mean, at least I don't. If you do, that's great. But I unfortunately do not. So, I had to decline NYU, which was very sad. But it just kind of feels good that I even made it in because, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of like a flex. <laughs> so, that was really exciting and cool. But I did have to decline that offer. But, yeah, I'm going to UMD now. Um, because I live in Maryland, so like it's in-state tuition, and that's just way better. I'm using this tea gin green tea super moist leave-in conditioner because my hair just needs just needs a lot of things. And conditioner is one of them. Um, because I was at the beach all day, and then like my hair just like fried, and I'm like, oh my god. Um, but yeah, so I got into UMD. I was originally gonna stay with these two girls that I met on like the UMD Facebook page, but it ended up not working out. Because at College Park, the area is so expensive. Because Maryland is a Big Ten school, you're paying Big Ten prices for literally like everything, which is really unfortunate. But I know that having a degree from that school will look really good on like my resume and everything. And like it's uh, the UMD is so close to DC and. I don't know there's just a lot of opportunities and it's kind of one of those things where like you're paying for the name like you're paying for the degree from Maryland you're paying for that piece of paper so I am really excited um literally it's like July we're like in the middle of July right now which is actually insane and literally like classes start at the end of August so I'm still trying to figure out a place to live it didn't work out with my two roommates which I love them they're so nice and like I'm nothing against them but I was t I told them that I was gonna stay home and commute which I still might do but like last week I got an email that said I actually got a assignment like I actually um they had the availability to have me have like a dorm room on campus which I know a lot of people hate dorm life but like I went to community college so I never got to experience dorm life so honestly like I get my assignment tomorrow morning like so I can see what room I have and like all that stuff and like my roommate so I kind of want to just full send it and go for it because I really do want to live on campus because like I spent two years at home and like saving all that money going to community college and I kind of just want to like full send it and just live on campus for the year. And I know it's kind of weird because like upperclassmen typically don't have dorms but I mean I never had the dorm experience so I feel like it'll be fun and I kind of just want to go for it but I'm going to make my final decision tomorrow once I get my room assignment and I can like see the room that I'm getting and really just like think about it because also like because um I transferred I haven't signed up my classes or anything like that yet because I don't know how to do that at UMD um and I don't have my orientation like where I don't have my digital orientation until literally like August 19th which is crazy because the semester literally starts like a week after that so I literally won't sign up for my classes until like a week before the semester starts which is kind of stressful because like I'm hoping I don't get bad classes um, if you guys don't know, I'm majoring in psychology. I changed my major. I originally was a nursing major, and then, like, the pandemic and everything just made me realize I just did not want to be a nurse. And I'm really glad I found that out because that's definitely not a job that you do if you're not passionate about it and it's not what you really want to do. Like, that just wouldn't be fair. So I'm glad I kind of figured that out for myself. Um, but, yeah. So I won't be able to know what classes I have until I do that orientation in literally, like, it's, like, a month away. So that's kind of stressful but I'm trying to make the best of it but yeah the whole point of me talking about that was because um I still don't know where I'm living next year <laughs> so which is kind of stressful I'm really thankful I'm really grateful obviously that I'm gonna be going there but I just really want to know where I'm gonna live I don't have a hair tie oh my gosh I don't know where I'm living yet I get my assignment tomorrow though so hopefully depending on how that goes hopefully I live on campus and if I do live on campus I think I want to work as like a um not an RA but like they have like a front desk position for like the 
dorms that I'll be living in and like you just have to work like a couple times a week and like on the weekends and like you have to work during one break and I feel like that would just like hopefully that money can go towards me living there so like honestly that would be really great and I can probably like edit videos and stuff while I'm sitting there because I'm planning on vlogging a lot when I'm in college because like that content like I noticed there's not really a lot of UMD content on YouTube so I feel like that'll be good not only for you guys but then a lot of other people can help kind of look up that kind of content because when I was looking at what colleges to apply for like honestly I know it sounds stupid but like a deciding factor to me was like people who vlogged it and if I was like I don't like the vibe of the campus like from what they're showing through the vlogs like I didn't apply to a lot of schools because of that so which might sound kind of stupid but I'm one of those people who has to like really like see what the reality of like the daily life is before I can commit to a place you know so yeah where did my hair tie just go that i literally just had okay so this is it for my hair i smoothed it down a little bit i like these pieces out front because it distracts from how big my forehead is eh. uh, i'm gonna put them by my ears for now though because i'm gonna do my makeup so other thing i want to talk to you guys about i actually um saw this tiktok like in december that was basically first i'm doing sunscreen i'm gonna try to get better about wearing sunscreen y'all for real like for real um but in december i saw this tiktok that was like if you sign up with this like um influencer like marketing company like this is how i got a brand deal with airy like i work with them and i'm a partner with them now because i signed up for this website so i did it and i applied to be an airy ambassador and y'all i actually got like i went through the whole like application process i did an interview i sent them like photos of me i had to write these like letters and stuff and i actually got into the program which was really exciting but um I so like I got into the program I was super excited I didn't hear anything for about like a week and then all of a sudden like I think like a like uh, almost a month later they're like you made in the program like we we're excited to have you like all this stuff and I was like super duper excited because I was like oh my god like I literally love Aries so much like this is so exciting like they're literally one of my favorite companies like I've spent so much money at, at Aerie in my lifetime like I love their whole like Aerie Real branding approach and everything like that but like being a part of that program it's just like a lot like there's like a lot of limitations and restrictions so originally I kind of was like okay like maybe I don't want to do it but um I signed the contract and I filled out my availability form for like the internet training portion of it and then they sent like a week later so while i was in pigeon forge like in tennessee like in the camping in the mountains they sent out this email that was basically like they redid the contract and stuff like that and i was like oh crap like i don't have enough service to go i'm like resign this contract and stuff like that so then i was like okay well maybe it's just a sign that like i shouldn't do this from the universe so i literally like couldn't get that email to come up or upload and so i didn't refill it out again and i know the training started this week like the online training so I kind of was just like, well, I guess that was like the universe's way of telling me not to do it. And I was kind of like bummed out. But then at the same time, I was like, maybe it's a sign, whatever. But they literally just texted me like an hour ago saying like I need to fill out the contract and like the form ASAP and that I can still do it. So I'm kind of just thinking like I'm just going to full send it and do it because that would be an amazing opportunity, not only for like me working with brands, but also for like my Instagram because it's like a basically like an Instagram um, brand deal. Like I have to post uh bi-weekly in my feed and like weekly on my stories which i already do that anyways and then i get a whole bunch of like really cool perks which i don't know if i'm allowed to talk about that i like but i mean i don't think so i don't because it's not really like my youtube it's more of like my instagram so make sure you follow me on instagram for that content i'm really excited but yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and refill out those forms once i finish getting ready and then i'm gonna clean because i really need to clean my room but um just for my makeup i literally in the summertime i literally use three products I use mascara. I got this Lash Princess mascara in my last vlog, and y'all, it's bomb. It's literally three dollars. The only thing is, it kind of gets clumpy, like at the top. Like I had to, I have to keep wiping off like the little part right here because like the mascara kind of like clumps up to it, which is kind of annoying. And then also from the same brand, this is Essence, by the way. This is also Essence Make Me Brow. This is literally like one ninety nine, and it's so good. Um, my brow shape has definitely gotten a lot better over the years, so I'm really thankful for that. So I just literally just use this tinted brow thing to fill them in and then I use an inner corner highlight because I feel like it just makes me look more awake I don't know what it is about it but yeah I'm just gonna do that really quick speed this up because y'all like can you just shut up like I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes talking <laughs> okay this lining is kind of trash but I'm gonna fill out the paperwork right now excited business contract on my bed like <laughs> no sheets just 
whatever. Okay, update. So now today at 8 p.m. I have a training session for this program, which is exciting, but now I have to make sure I remember that. So I'm gonna set an alarm on my phone right now. I literally just got the email. Uh, I'm excited that this is gonna work out because I was really kind of bummed out when I was like, okay, maybe it's just not gonna work out, but it is and I'm excited. So let me go to my clock. And I'm glad I got ready now because now I need to be ready anyways. I might do a little more makeup later, but let's do for 7.45. PM, and then I'm gonna do a label. This clock app, Apple clock app, really be saving me because I forget things. Doing a before to hold myself accountable. Yeah, it looks like a train wreck. Okay, so I have to start getting ready to go leave to see my friend Megan, but I want to show you guys my updated room. <laughs> um, so in the past like 30 minutes, I got the bed made. It looks kind of weird, but I don't really care. I have this part clear. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, ready? Um, I'll pick out an outfit and I'll show you guys what I wear in a second because it's really hot outside and I don't know if my car AC is working. I haven't driven in like a week, so this is gonna be really weird, like driving again, because like I low-key forgot how to drive. <laughs> okay, so this is the outfit I'm going with. I'm just wearing this New York top that I actually thrifted. I'm wearing these American Eagle black jeans and then I'm wearing these sandals. Kinda would rather go with the docks, but it's honestly way too hot for that, so I'm just gonna wear this. And yeah, I'm gonna vlog on my phone now because I'm not bringing my camera in the car. It's too hot and I wasn't really dealing with that. So let's go. It's like 1.13, so I have to like hurry because <laughs> the place is like 15 minutes away. So also, y'all, I got this spray from Target. It's the vanilla bourbon spray. It literally smells so good. Like I can recommend you get anything from Target. It was literally like $9. This stuff is amazing. I've used it like for like two weeks straight and only this much is gone. Like, y'all, go get it. Okay guys, so I just got here. Oh my gosh, what just happened? I just exited out of my camera. I just got here, it's literally so hot. Like I'm burning up. My AC worked for like five minutes and then it stopped. But I made it here, I'm so excited to see Megan. I literally haven't seen her. Oh my God, it's probably been like three months. It's been a long time. We were both still in school the last time I saw each other. So that's crazy, but I'm getting ready to go walk out to there because I'm not seeing this car, it's too hot. But I'm so excited, yeah. Here's my food. Here's Megan. Hey. Uh, look at her shirt. We love the shirt. We love to see it. Mm -hmm. Thanks for stopping by. How can I help you? Hi, can I have a venti strawberry refresher? But, water lemonade. Um, water's fine. All right. And can I add um green tea and then also the mango dragon fruit base to that? Super, thank you. Thank you. That's my new favorite drink to get. Okay guys, so it is currently like five o'clock almost. So I'm actually gonna get ready to go to the gym with my sister Kennedy because I have that thing later with Ari. I got caught up. I actually was on the phone with one of my friends that I haven't talked to in a long time. Phoenix, hi Phoenix for watching this. Love you. But um, yeah, it was really nice to catch up with her on the phone. Um, but now I'm about to go to the gym. Let's go to the gym. Okay guys, my tripod just got here, so let's go get it. Okay, well this works out great because I'm literally resting you guys on my bed right now so I can open this tripod. This came in the mail. Ah, love Amazon on the same day delivery. It's just really 10 out of 10. Okay, it looks great, it looks great. Gonna unbox it. Here's the tripod. Oh, this one is the remote one. Oh, this one feels nice for real. This is a good purchase. I'll leave a link down below. I have a link to my Amazon shop page. If you guys, anything I ever get from Amazon, it's linked on that page. And it's super easy for you guys to see what I got because it's on page, so. <laughs>
Hey guys, we just left the gym. Oh my gosh. We just left the gym and now we're gonna be balanced. Balance, am I right? I just got a six piece nugget. So. Thank you. I mean, like, I feel like six piece nugget is like the healthiest ish thing you can get from that. Mm. That's good. Hey guys, so I just got out the shower. I just put my hair in a really messy bun because we don't have to have our cameras on, so I'm not like looking cute or anything. Uh, I have on this like Adidas sweatshirt and like some random pairs of shorts, and I'm about to. Oh, my alarm's going off for the meeting. Haha. -ha. Um, so yeah, I just got an email that said that we should log on about 10 minutes before start time, which is in like five minutes. So I just plugged my computer up because it was actually dead. So that's keep on and fresh. Um, and I'm gonna use my iPad to take some notes because I make sure I wanna like keep up with all the information I'm gonna be given. Um, yeah. Hey y'all, it's Sab from the future. It's currently August 2nd when I'm editing this and it's literally been like a month since I filmed this vlog. But I just wanted to update you on the whole air situation. So I actually am an ambassador with them and I just posted yesterday. Um, my like introduction post so you guys should totally go check that out if you're interested I couldn't film that much during the meeting because we weren't allowed to like share any like stuff that we talked about because like there was like important like corporate information in there so obviously I couldn't show you the screen really or show you anything but I just wanted to show you that I was like taking notes and trying to really pay attention and really be engaged in the meeting and yeah after that my night was pretty much over so that leads us to the end of this vlog I'm really sorry I haven't posted in so long I've just been kind of overwhelmed preparing for college preparing for my trip to cali and everything like that but i'm so so excited this next phase of life is gonna be so good and i'm so glad you guys are coming along with me so yeah i'll see you guys next time